This review of Sparkster on the Super Nintendo may contain spoilers and coarse language. If neither of those bother you, then have fun watching this review. And also, I'd like to present that this will be the first review to use 60 frames per second. Have you ever played a video game where it just fell flat near the end? Unfortunately, that is what I would use to describe Sparkster. I feel really bad for calling the game that, but really, Sparkster is still great. It just really falls down in quality as you get to the end. Oh yeah, I've played games where they fell flat near the end. But in all honesty, Sparkster still just couldn't manage to hold itself up. It's still great. It could be more. It could have been more. It could have been a fantastic game. But it still ended up great. And I'm here to tell you why. Sparkster is a pseudo-remake of Rocketite Adventures on the Sega Genesis, featuring the exact same story and very similar gameplay. The only major difference besides the levels and music is that instead you're fighting a kingdom of wolves instead of a kingdom of communist pigs. Now, communist pigs are way funnier, but I don't really see the comedy of yellow wolves. So, you, this game's really gotta bring up some shit. It's gotta bring up some shit. Immediately as you start, Sparkster, you'll notice that, hey, this looks really fucking amazing. The graphics are bright and colorful and great. The music is absolutely fantastic, and Sparkster controls like a dream. Sparkster can attack with his sword, he can shoot out a little beam, he can also hold the attack button down for his rocket attack. And the L and R buttons are by default bound to the quick slash maneuver, which allows Sparkster to go left and right and do a rolling slash through enemies. So, Sparkster's got a pretty versatile moveset, controls well, the graphics are great, and the audio's freaking amazing! So how does it fall flat? It falls flat from a gameplay standpoint, sadly. Regardless of that falling flat moment, stages 1 through 6 of Sparkster are fun! Very, very fun! Very creative, very fast-paced action, very memorable, they're great! They're absolutely great, and while the other stages themselves are also memorable, it's not in a positive way, for the most part. The main issues I've run into gameplay-wise is, well, right at the stage 6 boss, the game hits a difficulty spike. And while the boss itself is still fun, then every boss after that is horrible. They're just horrible. And all the other bosses at the beginning are amazing! I love how creative some of them are, especially a lot of the mini-bosses. One of my favorite bosses would have to be Stage 2, Steelworks. That boss right there picks up a lot of weapons and tries to throw them at you and stuff. It also makes use of jointed sprites, which was a very common thing to do around that time in the 90s. The level design, too, is also fantastic. The levels at the beginning, stages 1 and 2, however, are a lot more expansive and open. But then the stages suddenly become a lot more linear as the game progresses, but in a good way. They provide levels just like the original Rocket Knight Adventures, where the levels may have been linear, but every part of it was different and memorable. One thing that stays consistent throughout the entirety of Sparkster is without a doubt the graphics and audio, because they're always on extreme high gear. The sound effects are crisp and extremely satisfying to hear, the music is extremely fantastically well composed and very memorable, and it doesn't suffer from Super Nintendo Syndrome where the instruments sound extremely compressed. The graphics themselves are also pretty impressive to look at. Not only do they benefit from being very colorful and very fitting for the environments, but they also make use of some things the Super Nintendo couldn't have done before, such as transparency. Sparkster is a great looking and sounding game. In fact, according to Wikipedia, in 1994 it won an award for best sound effects on a Super Nintendo. I, I didn't know that was a legitimate award. One thing missing from this game that the original Rocket Knight Adventures had was level transitions, as for reasons why Sparkster may have gone to a different level. Now, all the stages don't really have one, except from stage 6 to stage 7, which has a really, really cool one. Phil 
fills you with adrenaline, huh? Well, not really. The music itself here is what really makes this scene so awesome. And it also just... BAM! Right there, you're into the space shooter setting. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is where the game starts to get bad. While the space shooter segment is awesome and a great thing to boost up some variety in the game, it really has a lot of slowdown. It just... Oh, man! It just ruins a lot of the pacing here. But the worst part is the boss at the end. If anyone ever had to ask me what I think is an ungodly mess of a boss, I would just tell him this one. You can literally just beat the boss just by slamming L or R on the fucking controller. Even though you have absolutely no idea how to do anything, but you just, whatever, I'll fight you, and then you just fucking mash the buttons and you'll win. Well, no, 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 you'll win if you're lucky. I should have said that. Because even if you have Axel Gear, which is dumb. To mention that. that that's 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 the purple guy. A anyway, even when you have Axel Gear's robot down to one arm, he can still kick your ass. It's just not a fun fight. You can beat him, yeah, but it's not fun. But then it gets even worse. Hey, check out this boss, for example. I did this shit for three fucking minutes. And for all I know, it probably could have been shorter if the game didn't fucking slow down every time I shot at it! Unbelievable! It, the game just goes down to the shitter. Just like that, right near the end of the game. Oh, but is the final boss any better? Well, I guess. I mean, he's a bit more fun, but all he does is spam attacks willy-nilly. There's really no actual strategy for him. He just randomly shoots out stupid fucking attacks. <sighs> and he's not even the final boss. I only beat this game on normal because that's how much I could stand. Regardless, I still think that the ending to the game was satisfying. Sparkster saves the princess, and he calls it a day. Pretty much as good as it can get. But I guess it might be a little bit more satisfying, because the ending credits theme is amazing. But before we listen to those credit themes, I think that maybe we should talk about what I would like to change in this game. Well, to put it bluntly, I really wish that the optimization in the game was a lot better. And I think I would probably reduce some of the graphics in order to make the game run a lot better. The last two stages, as I've run over, suck. They just, they just suck. Ah, uh, I'd definitely be throwing in some crazier levels and crazier bosses near the end, but I'd really try to redact having a difficulty spike like that. That's all I would really change, because Sparks are set up to already be a pretty fantastic game. Oh yeah, now the credits song. Here, take a listen to the greatest credits theme ever made in a video game. Oh, Sparkster, you are still a pretty great game. And while I may have bias because Rocket Knight Adventures is my favorite video game of all time, Sparkster is still a great game. Great graphics and music for one, even though there's some slowdown, along with some fantastic and well-crafted gameplay which easily could have actually beaten Rocket Knight Adventures. But the game didn't. The game just didn't. It fell flat near the end and it just could ruin the experience, it still ended up being a great game. It still did, and I did feel satisfied with the ending, so I guess that's something. But, for real though, Sparkster's great. It sounds like the game could have been more, but I'm satisfied with what I've gotten, and it's still a pretty great experience. Challenge hard mode? How about you challenge not fucking yourself? <laughs>